Hello and welcome to Gapy's Kitchen. I had some friends on the Pepper Lovers community want to know how I make my chili powder, so I thought I would show you. So the first thing I do is get some fresh peppers and give them a wash. I have a few different varieties in here. I've got some Brazilian starfish, some El Oro de Ecuador, chocolate habaneros, sugar rush peach, and some ahi lemons. So it's going to be a little bit of a mixed bag of chilies. Alright, so now that they're clean, we'll just shake them off a bit. And then what I'll be doing is cutting the stems off of these peppers. So all I'm going to do, since most of these are pretty small peppers, I'm just going to remove the stems. And the larger ones I'll cut in half. I'm not going to remove the seeds on these, I'm just going to leave them, leave them in there. So these aren't super hot peppers, so I'm not going to wear gloves, but um, a lot of times if I'm cutting into peppers that are pretty hot, then I'll wear gloves because I don't want that oil stuck in my hands because it's really hard to get off. Chocolate habaneros are pretty hot so I'm going to be careful when I cut this one because I don't want to get that oil on my hands. So I'm just putting these cut side up on my dehydrating um, sheet. The ahi lemons I'm not going to cut in half. I'm just going to leave those on their whole. So I'm just going to fill this tray up. Alright, so I think we're good on this tray. Here's my dehydrator. It's an Excalibur brand and it has a temperature control on it. And I usually set, for drying peppers, I usually have it set for about 135 degrees, and it should be done in less than 24 hours. So I'm gonna turn this dial to, we'll say, we'll do 20 hours, and then we'll check it tomorrow and see how it is. Here's another tray that's ready. So what I do, I usually space the peppers out every other tray since I'm not going to be filling this completely full. So I'm going to leave some space in between each, each tray. So I might have enough for another couple trays. I think we're going to have enough for one more tray. So I've got two, three, four, five trays of peppers evenly spaced. I'll let it sit overnight and check it in the morning. All right, the time is up, so we're gonna check our peppers and see if they're done drying. So you know they're done if you take one of the larger ones and just break it in half. If it crumbles pretty easily, then it's done, and this one looks pretty good. Um, let's just check some of the other shelves. Check this bottom one. Okay, so that's coming apart pretty easy. If it was kind of rubbery and not falling apart, then you'd need to do it a little bit longer. But it looks like we're pretty good here. So we can go ahead and grind these up into a powder. So I'm gonna put these in my magic bullet jar, which is what we're gonna be using to grind these up. These might not all fit in here, so I'm just going to scrunch these down a little bit to make more room. So 
So I still have two shelves left, but I'm gonna go ahead and grind these up and add the other two. I mentioned I'll be using a magic bullet to get these into a powder. You can use any spice grinder or coffee grinder would work. Probably the best, but you can also use a food processor if that's all you have. Now the magic bullet comes with two different blades. This flat one is the one that you want. This one is the best for grinding the spices and chilies into powder. So we're just going to plug this in. And grind this up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add those other two shells of chilies in here. Now, if you wanted a chili uh, flake instead of a powder, then you would just use the same method, but you just wouldn't. Our chili powder is done. We're going to go ahead and put this into a jar. I'm going to go ahead and transfer this powder into a spice jar. And this is just a leftover jar that I had from, looks like there was vegetable grilling seasoning in there. So I'm going to use a, a funnel so I don't make a mess. And hopefully it'll all fit in there. like it fits just right. And that's all there is to making your own chili powder. Thanks for watching.